Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So the Bleed Gladiator is kind of on hold right now, uh, mainly just because he's not a very strong character and I kind of want to like progress a bit further in this private league that we set up. So he's going to be on hold for a little bit. I do have another video to show you guys of him. I just haven't uploaded it yet. So we're going to be leveling a Righteous Fire build, which I haven't gotten to play in a very long time. And we're going to do something different this go around. We're going to be playing a Life Righteous Fire Trickster. Now, if you don't know the rules of this private league, it's basically solo self found with extremely limited trading, basically jewel for jewel or unique jewel for unique jewel. And we really don't really have much else other than that at the moment. We're going to be adding some more stuff in. Um, but anyway, this is what we have set up right now. I've got a Scorching Gray with Alley Focus, Swift Affliction, Efficacy, Burn Damage, Control Destruction. Now, the reason why I wanted to make this as a, um, as a trickster or just Righteous Fire in general is mainly because I've got a Joffrey's. If you don't know, Joffrey's is really good for getting a level 23 Purity of Fire because you can use an Empower. It goes plus one. You put your Purity of Fire in, it goes plus one. Not sure if I'm actually going to use that. Um, I also have a Bale Fire, which is really good because a Bale Fire gives us 25 Scorching Gray, which is at least like at least like a one and a half link. So this in itself is is easily like a it's a six link for the most part. <clears throat> the reason why this is good as it's a six link is because we you know single target is really difficult sometimes for Righteous Fire and Bale Fire easily fixes that and it stacks with Trickster's recovery. So we're gonna have recover five percent maximum life on kill. That's pretty overkill, but fuck it, dude, I'll take it. We also have a Saffles frame that we found, which gives us four percent max block. Um, it's or not max block, sorry, max res. It's also really good because it's spell block. Now, the only thing about this shield is that you cannot block attacks, which is kind of scary in my opinion, but as long as we don't get one shot by things, we should be able to be okay. And then as we are a trickster, um, we should be able to kill really fast. So just really single target bosses is going to be my only, only concern. And maybe I could just kill him with just with like Scorching Ray. I could even turn off RF and just like literally have like a ridiculous regen tank for Scorching Ray. Um, so I just wanted to show you this against a boss since uh, the previous character took 26 portals to kill Katava. So I wanted to show you the difference between like a character that's good at leveling and a character that's bad at leveling. Now remember this server also has 20% more magic life and uh, or monster life and you cannot find magic or rare items. So you pretty much have to craft all of your gear. I also do not have elemental equilibrium set up right now. Ooh, that's actually kind of spooky. I don't have elemental equilibrium because my wand that I'm using right now reduces, or not reduces, it gives me flat fire to spells, so that would kind of fuck this up. So that, this is without elemental equilibrium or elemental overload. You know, that hurt really bad. I guess Dojo is not always a good fight to showcase this song, because she's mean, dude. <laughs> Dojo is always so mean. <laughs> Why do you gotta be like that? That's not nice, you know. making fun of my purity of elements dude you don't understand this league is difficult okay you have to craft everything i think i'll just show you guys what it feels like to clear with scorching ray uh if you do want to play a character similar to this or you want to play scorching ray i highly recommend using like fire trap or something else until act four um just because scorching ray doesn't really get a lot of its support gems until act four um I tried leveling with it and it just didn't feel very good, um, like at all. <laughs> so definitely wait until Act 4 because that's when you get uh, Swift Affliction. Let's see, what do you get? Swift Affliction, Burn Damage, and Efficacy. So three of the strongest multipliers for it.
Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys some content. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I hope you're all excited for Betrayal. I was originally going to start with Winter Orb, but now I don't know, man. I might try something else because there's just so many fucking good things you can play with. Um, did I really miss the Ankh? No, dude. Was it there? I think it was there. <laughs> so I'm going to see you guys all later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. Take care, everyone.